Pisces, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. I am here to do a bonus read for you guys. First things first, thank you for the likes and the dislikes. I really appreciate that. So we're going to get started. Now keep in mind, this is general. This may not resonate with every Pisces. Of course, I take dislikes as it did resonate with them. So, hey. But if it does resonate with you, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification bell. Positive comments only, please. Also, if you like to donate to the channel or book a personal reading, that information will be in the description box. Y'all already know how this roll. The energy can be reversed. I'm a freestyle, so let's see. This is a Pisces bonus. What's going on with my Pisces? Let's see. Messages for my Pisces, please. Messages for my Pisces. What is the messages? You got overworking. Slow down, Pisces. You need to get balance between your work life and your personal life here. I feel like you work it on a goal. Don't burn yourself out, though. Prioritize communication. Okay. I feel like someone wants to talk to you. Are you too busy to talk? <laughs> I'm hearing booked and busy here. Give me two more cards for my Pisces. Someone wants to reach out here. Single woman or a single man you could be dating right now or you could be putting love on the back burner here they see you being single and your power here um someone wants to talk to you though i feel like you could be receiving some type of message or phone call soon from a person planning you got work school events birthday surprise holiday trips you got a lot going on you need to prioritize i'm hearing that heavy prioritize pisces prioritize so that's what i'm getting for you all so let's see what's going on with the pisces what's going on with the pisces game all right some of you all could be uh planning something for your birthday some of you all could be planning to go back to school or some type of holiday. I'm getting a summer trip. Some of you all could be planning a trip for this summer. Okay, give me some messages for my Pisces. You have past black suffering. Okay, messages for my Pisces, please. All right, you have toxicity bound patterns. You have Chiron, guarded, wounds. Okay. Messages for my Pisces, please. Forming, structured, solid foundation. Two more cards, please. Two more cards for my Pisces. Masculine, yes, and North Node. Some of you all have a North Node in Pisces. And you need to step into your purpose here. And then you have this masculine energy. Why does masculine look fine? Oh, God. Fine. Okay, so what's the overall energy here? Damn, you clashing. Okay. North node and then you got the south node here. Comfort zone, clinging. Some of you all need to step outside your comfort zone here. I also feel like there's a masculine that's going to step outside of their comfort zone to reach out to you. In order for them to do that, they may have to step into their north node, their highest power, you know, their highest vibration to do that. This person was definitely toxic towards you, but I feel like they're suffering in silence. They're repeating the past here. You could be suffering in silence and you're uh, covering it up by overworking. So really prioritize because I don't want you to burn out here. But I do see a masculine here that wants to reach out towards you. They know you guarded. They know they wounded you. I feel like somebody has a guilty conscience, like they're full of regrets. Also, to you, a stability towards this person. You bought structure, discipline. You bought a stable and solid foundation. But their, their patterns, they have some unhealthy patterns here is what I'm picking up. Okay, let's see. Messages for my Pisces. Messages 
This could be for a Pisces uh, masculine as well. If this is a Pisces male, you was dealing with a female that was, um, they was very guarded. I feel like they had a past that you wasn't aware of, my Pisces males. Okay, so what is this past lack suffering? What is this? What is this past energy about? Thank you, the Page of Pentacles. Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody wants to bring you some type of offer here. They want a truce. They're they waving the white flag here. I surrender. I surrender. I want to come towards my Pisces. I want to talk. This person could have been younger than you or extremely immature. Also, too, this could be like the mother or the father or be a child here. But this page of Pentacles is always good news to me, but it's immature news. I feel like this person have an issue with communication. So what is this toxicity down in patterns? Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Definitely want a new beginning with you but they also know that if, in order to get this new beginning they have to unbind themselves from whatever toxicity or unhealthy pattern that they have i'm also getting to someone was um uh, money hungry i'm getting greedy here someone could have been extremely greedy also too they see that you have broke free from them and you are experiencing new beginnings here some of you all could have new jobs um some of you all have moved, new homes, new automobiles here. But I also feel like this person knows that you were that gift. You were that ace. You was that pinnacle there. You know what I'm saying? They know this. But I feel like their behavior really shattered this connection. So now you guarded. You protected yourself. Some of you all could have changed your number. So this person can't reach out. Yeah, this person knows that you're guarded. They see you as this king of swords energy. Some of you all could have air placements in your chart. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like this is how this person see you. Very detached, cold. You're not saying much. You all about integrity. You all about morals. But I feel like you're not taking this person's shit. Like you, like you ready. You trained. You like you trained for war here. This person knows this, but they're hesitant about reaching out towards you. Towards you. Hmm. Cold hearted. I just heard cold hearted here. What's this forming structure? and solid foundation the moon your energy here this person know that they was keeping secrets from you i feel like this person gave you an illusion and that is why you in this king of swords energy here this person was giving off illusions they was clouding your judgment i feel like they was holding back secrets here but i feel like this too they think they was getting away with something but my Pisces are highly intuitive, so they know what was going on. I feel like what they thought they was getting away with end up biting them in the ass in the long run. So whatever they thought they got over on you, it end up coming back and biting them. Mm. What is this masculine energy? What's this masculine energy? Yep. Like I said, they was doing something very manipulative. They was lying. They was doing the utmost. That's what I'm hearing, like doing the most here. But I feel like it ended up backfiring here. What they thought they was doing as a secret, that shit came to light. The Five of Swords is someone that likes to play mind games, that likes to lie. They could be on a compulsive liar here. They wanted to win at all costs, but what they lost was this pinnacle. I feel like you were the ace of pinnacle to them. You were their stable foundation, but they wanted to win something at all costs, but they end up losing more than they gained is what I'm getting here. So now they have to rise to the occasion in this North Node. They got to stand in their purpose. I feel like this person is having some type of awakening here. The queen of pinnacles. Give me one more on this Queen of Pentacles here. I feel like they want to come in and make things more committed. They want to be faithful now. I feel like they want um, 
to bring that loyalty back to you. Yeah, they ready to risk it all to come back towards you, Pisces. But I also feel like this is you two standing in your purpose with this Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, a lot of you all could really be focused on your finances at this time, becoming more stable and grounded in debt department. Some of you all could be saving more. Some of you all definitely plan as far as um, investing your money, taking risks financially here. I feel like whatever risk you're taking financially is going to pay off. Some of you all could have... a. Uh, um, a north node in your earth in earth signs like taurus virgo capricorn here very grounded very much so very practical what is this comfort zone i feel like this is you moving out of this comfort zone and stepping into your north node here this could also be a cancer you was dealing with some of you all could be moving, relocating. I'm getting like moving to another state. So this planet might be you actually moving from one state to another or one town to another here. You could be researching. I'm hearing Zillow right now. Some of you all could be um, looking for jobs in other areas here. Like you planning before you move. You don't want to go without nothing in hand. So this is probably where the overworking is coming in at. Some of you all could have already moved and you're going back and forth from one area to another until, you know, your move is complete here. So I just heard check your oil and your car. Make sure you get your oil changed and your tune up. Yeah, a lot of you all will be traveling here as I'm getting you closing cycles and you moving forward. I also feel like you're coming out of this comfort zone. This is going to make you extremely uncomfortable. I feel like you're stepping outside of your comfort zone, but it will be very successful for you when you do. I feel like you will get those opportunities that you're looking for with this Ace of Pentacles here. Definitely heavy travel. Fix our energy here. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. Ooh, yep. Capricorn. Some of y'all was dealing with a Capricorn here. Mm. Devil energy. Some of y'all actually, I, I gotta say, some of y'all are running away from this toxicity. You may have, why... Well, I feel like whatever situation it was in, you could have been staying with this person or living with this person, but you may feel like that the environment that you're in now, it just seemed unhealthy. Too many memories. It seemed toxic. It keep replaying in your head, and I feel like you're trying to break that chain and just move away altogether is what I'm picking up here. Like you just want to get yourself away from all of this and just start from scratch. Just start fresh. The devil energy speaks of, you know, that's my seven deadly sins card, but that speaks of addictions, that speaks of code, codependency as well. Some of you all are trying to become more independent and less codependent also. Okay, so let's see. Give me three cards for my Pisces, please. Some of y'all literally escape the devil like you survived the devil here. What do we have here? Guilty. I'm telling you, someone is having a guilty conscience about how they treated you because they was bringing some low vibes in your energy here with this devil card. Some of them could have had addictions that you wasn't aware of. I take that back. You were aware of with this moon card. Some of them feeling extremely guilty because I feel like they could have crossed you in some type of way. They could have crossed you for money. Like they could have sacrificed you for a like a bigger amount. This is what I'm getting like. This person thought they was going to get like major coins or major money, maybe a, a, a better paying job. Or something that was going to get them stable without you. But the way they did it, it was so shady to where they end up getting this page of pentacles. They end up getting the least amount. I feel like some of them could be struggling financially as well. And now they're feeling guilty. I feel like they sacrificed you for money in some type of way. 
but the joke is on them now because that ace of pentacles is coming your way it's like you're getting a blessing behind this here timid now they shy oh get the hell out of here now they shy they want to speak up now but they too shy to speak up Someone's feeling ashamed. I feel like someone is ashamed here. They definitely having a guilty conscience here about what transpired between you and them. But you won't tolerate them no more. Like intolerable. Like what they did was like, I'm, get, I'm getting unforgivable. But I feel like you're using that energy to forgive yourself and to forgive this person. But you will not tolerate them anymore. This is definitely uh, over with damn they sacrificed you for the ace of pentacles to end up getting one little measly pen pentacle i bullshit you not give me <laughs> oh my god give me a message for my pisces please give me a message for my pisces service your car winning Damn, something told me to tell someone to service their car. Service your car. Check your tires. Check your oil change. Get your tune up. Service your car. Because I feel like you would be doing a lot of traveling here is what I'm getting. Yeah, because you're going to be winning. And what people fail to realize when you win, that comes with major responsibilities. So make sure you prioritize and make sure you have a reliable vehicle here is what I'm picking up. Because you will be doing a, a tremendous amount of traveling here. But you definitely winning. You got a good thing going. Don't ruin this shit. And don't allow anyone else to come in to ruin it either. I feel like this person may see you being single, successful, prosperous. Like you looking good. You feeling good. Because this woman is beautiful on this single woman car. Our single man, she's beautiful. She's kept. She's well kept. She's focusing on herself. And this person sees this. They're having a guilty ass conscience behind it. I feel like what they did to you, they was trying to break you. But the only thing it did was made you stronger. They was trying to break you though. I feel like they were. Hmm. This could be bad. Wow. Wow. They know what they did was wrong. And they also know there's no chance in hell of you taking them back. That's why they're saying this could be bad. They know that this is over. They know this. Look at the skeleton and bones. They know this shit dead. It's a dead end here. There's no turning. I just heard no turning back. You can't turn back to this, Pisces. You know this. Persevere. You're moving forward. See, this person wanted to be the hair. They want to do something quickly, but I feel like they did a crash and burn here. Like they went so fast, they crashed and burned. They thought they was getting the Ace of Pentacles, but they end up getting page offers. You end up with the, page, uh, the Ace of Pentacles here because you persevered. You did the tortoise energy here is what I'm picking up. You took your time. You planned. You organized, you knew you had a game plan before you went out there, and that's why your ass is winning. Period. So that's what I got for you all. If this resonated, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will talk to you guys later. You all be blessed. Bye.